In this video, I'll be going over the historical stock prices function. The historical stock prices function returns historical end of day data for a given ticker symbol. First, we'll start by typing an equal sign and then the name of our function, which is hist stock prices, then an open parentheses. As with every function in Trade Defender, our first parameter is our app key. You can see that my app key is in cell C2. Our next parameter is the ticker symbol. Here I'll type in MSFT from Microsoft. After that, we have our start date. Dates in Trade Defender are always formatted with four digit years, two digit months, and two digit days. So for March 10th, 2014, I would type in 2014 0310. Then we have our end date, which I'll set to be one year later. So 2015 03. Our next parameter is order by. This allows us to sort our return data in either an ascending or descending format. By default, this is set to ascending or ASC, but we can set it to DESC or descending. We'll leave it like that. After that, we have columns. Here we can specify which columns we'd like to be returned and in which order. If we leave this blank, all columns will be returned. Here, we'll specify open, high, low, and close, as well as the date. Notice that I've wrapped all of the columns in double quotes and separated them from one another with commas. Our next parameter is values only. Values only allows us to specify whether we would or would not like column headers. By default, this is set to zero, so that we will see column headers. But if we set it to a 1, column headers will be removed. We'll leave this at 0. Our next and last parameter is transform. Transform allows us to specify whether we'd like the data to be returned in a vertical or horizontal format. By default, this is set to 0 for vertical. But if we set it to 1, the data will be returned horizontally. Again, we'll leave this at 0. Then we type a close parentheses and enter. And you see here, we have the columns which we specified between the two dates which we specified in a descending order. Now, for example, if I were to remove the columns, then all of the columns would be returned. If I were to remove the start date, as well as the end date, all of the data from Microsoft would be returned. If you have questions about this function or other functions in Trade Defender, please check out tradedefender.com slash docs or email us at support at tradedefender.com. Thank you.